Today, I tackle the age-old question, Premiere or Final Cut? Yeah, I go there. Let me just answer the question now and end any suspense you may be going through. It depends entirely on you. Depends on your budget, depends on your operating system, depending on your current project, what your goals are, what your experience is. Let me go over each one of these things. First item is price. Obviously the cost of it is a huge factor, especially if you're just getting started. Final Cut, it's great because it is just a one-time purchase on the iTunes store and you're up and running and you own the software forever. You currently get Final Cut Pro X along with any updates that they have for that software. Now, when they make a major leap at, to the point where they rename the software, you're probably going to have to purchase it again. Although, of course, it is at $300 and you just own it outright. Adobe Premiere, you do pay a fee every single month to keep it and you, let's say you stop paying them, you no longer own the software. You can buy individual programs for $20 a month, which works out to be $240 a year, or you can get the Creative Cloud, the entire suite, that is $50 a month unless you're a student, you can get a discount on that. So look into that if you are a student, otherwise that's $600 uh, a year. But you get access to all of their applications, all of their programs, which is very helpful if you've got Premiere, you can use After Effects, you want to get fancy and use Audition for the sound, if you want to use Prelude, uh, Speed Grade for the coloring. And if you're going to do any kind of animation or any kind of fancy post-production stuff, you might want to be looking into Photoshop, Lightroom, InDesign, um, Illustrator as well. I find myself using Muse and uh, a lot of Adobe Acrobat, believe it or not, with a lot of the, the contract stuff behind the scenes, but it, it is a big cost. I mean, every single month you have to kind of add that to your list of normal expenses that you have. Now it's almost like a, a small cell phone bill. You've got 50 bucks every single month going to Adobe. Now you do get all of the updates, just like Final Cut. If they push through an improvement, they've got more camera support, they've got new features, uh, you get that right away. You can go on there and you can just update the program, it's just like updating an app on your phone. Now when Premiere goes from uh, Premiere Pro 2014 to Premiere Pro 2015, you get that. You get a lot of bells and whistles for that $50 a month if you go with the entire package, otherwise it's $19.99 for that one program. Uh, and then you can have Premiere. Looking at it that way, if you're gonna be updating your software every, let's say, four years, the cost of that program back when it was actually for sale as a disc was, how much was it? What was it, like 1,600 bucks for just that one program? Um, so doing the math, assuming that you do update your editing software every few years anyway, um, you'll probably find that it does pay for itself. It is a better deal than if you were to go out and purchase these things and then own them outright and then just hang on to outdated software for a very long time. I will leave a link in the description below for the pricing plan for uh, Creative Cloud as well as a direct link to Final Cut Pro uh, so you can really see side by side uh, what you're looking at as far as cost. Now next up is the operating system. If you have a Mac, you can get Final Cut Pro or you can get Adobe Premiere. If you have a PC, it's just Premiere, you can't get Final Cut on that. Yes, people in the comments section, actually it is technically possible, but you have to get emulators and you have to do some funky stuff with your operating system. I don't really know how to do it, I don't really care to, and here's why. If I'm ingesting all of my footage, gigabytes and gigabytes and terabytes of stuff into a project or a series of projects, I don't want to have a potential weak link that's going to make me lose all the stuff I've been working very hard on, especially if in likely event a client is involved. You want this thing to be flawless, you want the program to be legal, not a bootleg version, do it right guys, and you want the computer to be firing on all cylinders. If you've got some kind of a jerry-rig thing where Final Cut is working on your PC, guys, just, just Final Cut, leave that for the max. And if you're on a PC, you really hate Premiere for some reason, look at Vegas, look at Avid, do something else. Uh, obviously, totally different price ranges there, but you get the idea. And it depends on your project and your goals. Now, what I mean by that is, let's say you want to be an editor at ABC. What you need to do is go online, look up for job qualifications, what they're looking for, look for open positions for editors, and see what editing program they're asking for experience in. I've seen a big shift lately towards Final Cut, but it does depend on the agency or the video production place that you're, you're looking to get a job with. Learn it inside and out, even if it's not Final Cut or Premiere. If it's Avid, even if you can't afford Avid, watch every tutorial you can, buy every book, read the thing inside and out, understand how it works, download a trial version of the software if it's available, and just 
play with it constantly, build and, and, and use the hell out of it. It doesn't hurt to have at least a basic knowledge of all the major editing programs if you're in the market for a job like that. If, you, if you're looking to be an editor and you don't really know what company you want to work for, be able to cut something together on Avid, be able to cut something together on Final Cut Pro, on Premiere, hell, even on, on Vegas. Just understand how the programs work, at least basically, so at least you can throw that on your resume and say that you do understand these programs. Now obviously Avid is super high-end stuff. I've always been a Premiere guy. My wife is a Final Cut lady. She loves Final Cut, I love Premiere. Movie editors love Avid for the most part. That's what I mean by what your goals are, what the project is, what editing program does it call for. If you're a freelancer, you're working for yourself, go with whatever you feel most comfortable with. If you haven't purchased one, if you have no experience with either software yet, download a trial version of each and play with it and see which one feels more intuitive to you, which one you like the, the user interface a little bit better. Um, Final Cut is a little bit easier to do some things, but some professionals kind of balk at it saying they've dumbed down Final Cut Pro 7. I don't like it. I didn't really use Final Cut 7 very much, so I can't really compare that from Final Cut 7 to Final Cut Pro X. That's not what this video is anyway. And lastly, experience. Do you have experience already with iMovie? Do you get a Mac and you're playing with iMovie and now you're thinking which way do you want to go? There'll be less of a learning curve to Final Cut Pro X because Final Cut Pro X is essentially iMovie without the training wheels and with rocket boosters on and nitrous. That's what that is. So you're going to open up Final Cut and know where things are. Now of course there's going to be extra buttons because and extra drop downs and extra tabs because it just has more horsepower, that's the big boy version of iMovie, um, but it won't be completely foreign to you. Now, Premiere, if you use that in college or at a past job, if you just open it up and it just feels intuitive to you, go with that. Listen, at the end of the day, they are both amazing pieces of software. You cannot go wrong with either one. As a very wise man once said, actually he was the godfather, I'm going to use a different movie. Jurassic Park. Can we all agree that that was an excellent movie? Yes. What editing software do you think they used to edit Jurassic Park? Scissors and tape. Okay, maybe not these types of scissors and that kind of tape, but that's the idea. They pulled out the celluloid, they saw where they wanted to cut, they made the cut, they taped it together. That was the edit. So, Final Cut, Sony Vegas iMovie is a step up from that kind of editing. So anything you go with guys is great. You really can't go wrong with Final Cut or with Premiere unless again either it's a budgetary issue, it's an operating system issue, uh, the job you want to get uses the other editing software, use something completely different altogether. But that is the answer guys. Get your hands dirty, read what you can, download the trial versions, play with it, see what you like, and, and check out your you know potential employers, what they use, and, and go to town. If someone edited a video on Avid or on iMovie, as long as it was edited well, I, I would not be able to tell the difference. By editing well, meaning it's not going to have some flashy, dopey looking iMovie title that flashed across the screen that looks terrible. But if you were just to have a, a conversation between two people, you're just doing hard cuts, which most transitions are. Guys, ladies, listen to me. Just because you can make a transition doesn't mean you have to. 99.9%, .9 I'm making that up of transitions are just hard cuts or sometimes dissolves. But that's it. This isn't Star Wars. This isn't some tacky birthday slideshow or something where the star comes in and somebody else. Don't do that. Watch my other video here talking about just because you can doesn't mean you should. Okay, my rant is over on that. But just straight cuts. If you have the same editor editing the same thing on iMovie or Avid, you're not going to be able to tell the difference. It's just straight cuts. It's it's all in here. How good the edit is, is how good the editor is. The software is just a tool to allow you to do that. You gotta find out what's best for you. Which editing software do you use? Let us know in the comments below. Or if you had a nightmare scenario with one over the other, do you really hate one? Do you really love one? Let me know, I'd love to hear in the comments below. If this helped you, give it a thumbs up. If you're pissed that you didn't hear Final Cut sucks or Premiere sucks, give it a thumbs down, I don't care. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos every week. There's a lot of bells and whistles with, oh geez, who left their phone on? Okay, let's try that again.